I didn't make the connection between diet and health until I was 27 and got very ill. I had incredible pain. I was diagnosed with stage four endometriosis and ovarian cysts and uterine cysts. Um, they felt very strongly that I needed a hysterectomy because I was too high risk for endometrial cancer. At 27, I, hadn't, I didn't have a strong desire for children yet, but I wanted to have the option later. I wasn't ready to say, okay, let's take everything out. And that was probably the first time in my life when I started to ask questions about my eating habits and if they might be causing what I was suffering from. When I was scheduled to have the hysterectomy, I discussed it with my mom. She really wanted me to try other options. I ended up meeting with a nutritionist and she helped me to change my diet. The morning of the surgery, um, well, the doctor woke me up much sooner than expected. He came back and he said, this is a miracle. You know, about 95% of my problem was gone. I had tremendous scarring on the inside of my abdomen. I had an adhesion around my colon, but he said for the most part, most of it's gone. So I decided not to do the full hysterectomy now because this is a miracle and I've never seen anything like it. My mom piped up and said, she's been trying this new, you know, weird diet. And the doctor said, no, no, that's not it. This isn't diet related, this is a miracle. So I don't think that he had seen the research or was aware of the connection between women's reproductive health and our diet, and there's a huge connection. After I made the change to a whole food plant-based diet, I, I felt incredible. I lost 55 pounds. I had more energy. Um, I started to get new hair growth at 27, which is incredible. Uh, my cholesterol came down to a healthy level. My blood pressure came down. Everything changed. It's like I was walking around sick and I didn't even know it because you get so used to it. When I first found out that I was pregnant with John Patrick, I, I think it was surreal for me. The, the, the realness of it, how close I was to having the hysterectomy, and, and this wouldn't have even been a possibility for me. Um, I think it was all just very humbling. And I became more committed and more passionate about sharing it with other women um, so that they could be empowered too. Hi, I'm Catherine. I was diagnosed with stage four endometriosis and many infertility problems. But today I have three beautiful children.